Hello everyone and welcome to watching Dee's Precious Nursery. I thought I would get on here and make a video. i um, trying to get back into making more videos. Um, the last videos I did was the box openings that I had and this is one of them. Isn't she precious? I decided to go with girl. I pierced her ears and she is a girl. She's a big girl. Oh. Yeah, and I kept her name Evelyn, which is her kit name. So I think that suits her. I try to keep the kit names if I can. Um, but anyway, yeah, church was great today. Mm. Yes, it really was. Mm. It's great when you have a service and you feel God just speaking to you. It's a wonderful feeling. It really is. Love my relationship with God. I really do. I love it that I can just talk to him at any point in the day. If I'm feeling down, I go and I talk to God. If I'm feeling happy, I talk to God. Um, if I'm going through something, I talk to God and I thank him for everything. Even if I'm going through something because there's a reason for it. Or I wouldn't be going through it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing really good. I really am. Um, continuing to save in my move and fun. I call it my moving fund because eventually I will get my own place. Uh, I'm thankful for where I'm at. I'm thankful that my aunt and uncle opened their home to me until I can get my own place. But anyway, I just want to let everybody know I'm doing good. I know I my videos were really short. I did very short videos when I did the box openings. And um, now that I've enjoyed these babies for a few days, I'm... I look them over and getting to know them and every single one of them is beautifully painted. Um, only this one, she is bald. I will eventually get some hair on her. I will when I find somebody to root her. Oh, and she is done by, um, oh, I forgot already. It was there, but I already forgot. Jody Slayer. I'm pretty sure that's who her artist was. Okay, I'll sit her down. Now, and I'm enjoying this little baby here. <gasps> Look at this pretty girl. Her I kept her name Shiloh. Hi, pretty girl. So I am enjoying these three babies. Um, and the only baby that I do not have, that I I do have one on layaway. Um, I did a six-month layaway with that one. Um, I know I, I shouldn't be buying any dolls at all, even though I just sold some. But um, I really am going to stop. Somebody said to me, pray for me that I could stop buying dolls. And I says, I think we both need that prayer. I just have to try and um, put my priorities where they need to be. And right now, I really do need to stop. So after that layaway, I really need to have self-control and just enjoy the ones that I have. I have some beautiful babies. I have a beautiful collection. And there's no reason why I can't just enjoy the ones I have. Um, there is a good amount I still want to sell um, because I definitely need to downsize my collection. It's just way too big. And selling six and buying three is not a good thing to do. <laughs> I know I said before I was going to um, not buy a doll unless I sold a doll. Um, but right now I need to save for moving. I really do. And I need to, I need to keep my priorities where they need to be. And buying babies after I sell babies is not good right now. So, but anyway, the only issue with any, any of the three that I got was with this one. Um, I don't have an issue with the painting. The painting is beautiful. I'm having a hard time with the hair and only because when he rooted it, it's so far back that the only way I can style her hair is I have to push it to the front and then put a hair piece right there. there. There's no other way to style her hair because it is so far back rooted. Um, not that the rooting is bad. The rooting actually is good. But why it's so far back, I don't know. I did reweigh her. This baby had no weight in her whatsoever. I, re I put some weight in her head. I put some weight in her body. And now she feels wonderful. And this is my little Wilma. Yeah. 
and she feels wonderful to hold too. She's very cuddly. She's um, not too stiff. Um, and she feels much better. Um, she wasn't good to cuddle before because she had absolutely no weight in her. Her head, I could squeeze it together because there was, there was nothing in there. I can't do that now because there is weight in her head. There was no weight in her head. There was a little bit of polyfill in there. Um, and, but no weight, no weight. I mean, she did have a little bit of weight to her, but nothing like she was when I first felt her in my arms at the doll show because I held her at the doll show and then I put her down and I went to look at the cuddle babies. And by the time I got back, she was gone. She was already gone, but I did save on her because... She was for sale at least above six hundred because I didn't see any of her babies except for the cuddle ones below six hundred dollars, and I got her for four twenty six shipped. So, you know, it's not bad. She does got to get her ears pierced though. I ordered earrings, so my girls because I do have a few girls that don't have their ears pierced. So the ones that don't have their ears pierced will be getting them pierced. And she will too. Yes, Wilma, you will get your ears pierced. Yeah, so I figured I'd get on here and make a video. And then I'm going to be doing some reading in my membership study. And I'm going to do some reading um, in God's Word. Because I just need to. I want to absorb, absorb, absorb. That's what I've been doing. Absorbing God's Word. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's about all that's been going on with me. Um, yeah, not too much. I've been working on the room today, um, trying to organize some stuff. I pulled out my winter clothes and I put my winter clothes away. The ones I'm going to keep in here, the rest are going to go out in the shed. And um, so that I have some to last through the winter. I mean, I do have more than that, but um, I don't have much space in here. My room is, you know, pretty much full. And um, half of my room is dolls. Yeah, there's a whole wall full of dolls over there. I have three huge bookshelves. I think I showed them already on video. I have three huge bookshelves and it's completely full. And then I have two totes um, with dolls in it. And one tote on the bottom has some kits in it that I probably will be selling later on. Um, I did just, um, did a trade with somebody like I really needed another doll in my collection, but, um, she had a Lee Milliton doll, um, pretty cheap and I was getting rid of kits and we decided to do a trade. So I gave her two kits and I'm getting the Lee Milliton doll. Plus I got $35 towards one of the kits because the, it just, that's the way the price worked out. So, yeah, I didn't buy that doll technically. I'm trying to convince myself that I didn't, but I kind of did a trade. And that is the only, I've done one other trade before with Becca. I gave her um, my Hannah Ashton Drake doll, and she gave me two of her Paradise Gallery dolls. And, um... I think she might have sold her Ashton Drake one. But um, I kept the one, which was Kenzo. I still have her. I made her a girl. And I call her Ruby Love. I think it's really cute. It suits her. And then the other one was I Love You S'mores. And that I just gave away to Ginger as a gift. I gave her that doll. And I gave her um, a large, a big brown teddy bear. That was actually bigger than the doll. And I sent them to her as a gift. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, I talk to her every day. Um, she's bought many dolls off me. And I just wanted to show her how much I appreciate her. And I appreciate the friendship. And I appreciate her buying dolls off me because... Uh, the dolls that she was buying off me, I was able to put that money in my moving fund. That money I didn't use towards getting dolls. Um, and she's got um, a couple dolls on hold with me right now, which is 
very, very sweet of her. Um, and it, every doll sale that I do have, it does help me out a lot because I get to put that money away. Um, even though I sold six and bought three, I was still able to put some money away. But I need to, I really need to refrain from buying and just, you know, sell and put that money away because I would like to have my own place um, soon. And when I put the money away, I do not touch it. It is, that money is untouchable. Uh, it, I just don't touch it at all. It's like I don't even have it. But, yeah. So, I'm home this week. You know, by myself. My aunt and uncle went on a cruise, so it's just me and the cats. Yeah. You know, she has a cat. And I have a cat. They don't like each other at all whatsoever. Um, she was trying to play with them, but now she doesn't like them. I don't know. But he don't like her at all. Hasn't liked her from day one. Feels like she just invaded his home. And he's an outdoor indoor cat. So when he goes out, you know, she has free run of the house. When he comes in and spends time in the house, we put her in the bathroom which is where her litter is and it's a heated floor and the bathroom is bigger than my bedroom. It's a huge, huge bathroom. So she has, you know, a good amount of room in there. She's in there right now because midnight's out and, and about and midnight will be going out. Last night he spent the night out and the night before that he spent the night out. So she had free range of the house through the night. But even when she has free range through the house, she lives in that bathroom. I think she thinks it's her room. And when we go in there to get a shower or use the bathroom, she gets all happy like we came to visit her or something. Really, really weird. So anyway, I'm babbling on about my life. I haven't been on here that much. So, you know, I'm just talking about what's going on in my life. Um, Yeah, so I guess that'll probably be all for today um yeah i'm over 10 minutes <laughs> like my one friend would say your videos are my commercials because my videos are like uh maybe one third the time of hers yeah <laughs> but i don't make real long videos i don't know uh, I think the next video I'll make, I'll probably do um, a change in video. Maybe I'll change a couple of my babies that are still in summer outfits up there. Yeah, I have a bunch of babies that are still in summer outfits. I really like my collection. I really need to start enjoying them more and stop going on there and looking at other babies. It's really hard. Really hard. I need to go on there and unfollow a bunch of people because what happens is when you follow people on reborns.com and they post a new baby for sale, you get notified. Yeah. So what I need to do is I need to go on there and unfollow all those people that post gorgeous babies so I don't get that temptation to buy any. I just got to have willpower. Is there anybody in this doll community that has willpower? Because if there is, can you just let me know how you do it? How you don't look at dolls? <laughs> because I look at them all the time. I mean, I'm in plenty of groups where people are posting their babies. I mean, I, I'm a monitor in one group and then I have I, um, the admin of two others. Um, they're groups that I have started. Uh, one a while back and then one I want to say about four months now it's pretty new it only has like 322 people in that group that one's pretty small um, my other one has over a thousand but it's gonna probably drop under that because um, Becca is my monitor in there and we're actually we're actually going to get rid of um, some people that do not participate in the group I should be showing you the baby instead of just seeing me and me babbling. Here's Wilma. All right, let me let me pick up Shiloh. Here's Shiloh. Here's a pretty girl. Look at how pretty she is. 
She is so pretty. So pretty. Yeah, I, I knew she was girl. She was definitely girl when I got her. I was undecided on my other one if I was going to make Evelyn a girl or a boy. I really was going back and forth, back and forth. And then I put a little cute girl outfit on her. And then I was like, you know what? I think I'm definitely going to go with girl. So I pierced her ears and she's a girl now. <laughs> I mean, I could take the earrings out and make her a boy, but I'm going to keep her a girl. And she looks so real, like so real when I hold her. She feels like a real baby. She just really does. The way her head lays, the way she was weighted. I mean, the artist that did her, oh my gosh, did a phenomenal job. The way she fades the colors in, in her skin tone is wonderful. And I looked at some of her babies and, um, her rooting is outstanding. I mean, she does wonderful babies and wonderful rooting. And maybe later on down the road, not rail, because now I need to save. So not now, but maybe later on down the road, I will mention to her, maybe she could root my baby for me. And maybe I can get another baby by her. I do have, I did order the pickles kit only because... I did it a while ago on, um, they had pre-order and a friend of mine said to me, Oh, go on there. They got pre-order for pickle. And I'm like, Oh, I don't even know who that is. But I went on and I saw it. I was like, Oh my gosh, it's a nice size baby. And look at those lips. Oh my gosh. The lips were fantastic. So I did pre-order that and I paid it in full and I did get it. It was actually, I ordered it when I lived at the other address because I had to contact them to make sure that they shipped it to this right address. And they did. It took me a little bit longer to get mine, but that was okay. So I do have that kit. So if they do sell out of that one, because it is a limited edition, I think of 3,700. I believe that was the edition, but I wanted to make sure that I had it just in case. I did that with um, Jupiter and I did that with Ellie Sue and I did that with Delilah and I do have a Delilah kit I think she's a well sought after kit right now but I do have those three kits only because I wanted to make sure now my Jupiter she was made for me um I do like her I think she's very pretty um I might eventually get that Jupiter made, another Jupiter made like later on down the road. My nose is itchy. <laughs> um, but I don't know. If not, then I will just sell the kit. I do have this kit as well. Um, when I was at the doll show, um, <laughs> the sculptor that sculpted that kit had some of her babies out and she was selling the kits. Well, I don't know artists, so I don't know who is who. I only know like Gladys because I buy Gladys's babies. And I know a couple people that I've bought babies from, but I'm still pretty new. I mean, I started collecting in 2018, but never really got to know who the artists is of who they, who the sculptors are and all. So when I was at the doll show, I seen she had this baby already made and it was beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh, I can get Gladys to make that baby for me. And she said to me, would you like me to sign it? And I was like, okay. So she's signing it. And then she said, well, would you like a picture? And I said, no, I'm okay. And <laughs> I didn't get a picture with her. And I was like, and I thought about it afterwards. I'm like, I hope I didn't insult this person, but I didn't know who she was. I should have just took the picture anyway, but I, I didn't know who she was. And I was like, now, and then I felt bad. I was like, I hope I didn't insult her. I'm sure I didn't. But the only picture I took was with a couple people that asked me to take a picture. And then I took a picture with um, Kelly Maple because I did get a baby with her, from her. So, but I think I might have talked about this on my other video when I opened her. <laughs> but I really, I now I would definitely want a picture with her. And I would want to bring this baby I wonder if she's going to be at the next style show. 
the next doll show I'm going to, I didn't get to go to the one in, um, in Orlando because I couldn't find anybody to go with me and I wasn't taking that drive by myself. But, um, I am going to the one in June. It is only seven and a half hours for me, so I can take that one by myself. But, um, there's two other people that might be going. Um, Hasina, um, I would love to meet her. Uh, she's somebody I talk to regularly. I say good morning to her, see how she's doing. And then, um, Mandy from Mandy's Cuddle Bugs. I don't know. Andy's cuddle something. <laughs> I do watch her and um, I just actually started talking to her recently. Very, 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 very sweet person. I really enjoy talking to her as well. And she may be going to the show too, which is great. I love meeting other Dolly, Dolly sisters out there. I really do. Especially sweet people that I enjoy talking to and, um, I just feel that they're really nice and um, genuine, uh, very genuine people. And I love that about um, some people I talk to. So, but anyway, <laughs> all right. I know I said I was going to get off here. Oh my gosh. I went over 20 minutes. <laughs> um, my, but my videos usually last about 20 minutes. That's about the average. The last few haven't. But, all right, enough talking about me. I am going to say goodbye now, and I hope everybody enjoys their evening. And thank you for watching Dee's Precious Nursery. And thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm up over 900. I think I'm at like 926. When I reach 1,000, I will be doing a giveaway. So it won't be a hidden giveaway. It'll be just me telling you something to do underneath the video. But I will be doing another giveaway when I reach a thousand. I'm even excited that I, I'm over 900. I can't even believe that I'm over 900. I remember when I hit a hundred and I was so excited. <laughs> but now I'm over 900, which is really nice. Closer to a thousand. So, all right. I'm going to say goodbye. God bless everyone. And don't forget to thank God for all. All right. Bye now.